Oh, it's you. I got his letter. Ah, uh, Mr. Arthur. Sir? Education is the most wonderful thing. It'll raise us higher and higher. Make civics and ethics less a work of a dirty-minded pragmatist like me. And the calling of higher, better men. Hear, hear. Without it, we are savages. But with learning, why, in 50 years, man will put down his guns and start living a life of relentless purity. Hear, hear. <laughs> but the rich can be so very self-absorbed. How can I help? You can't. We need all our strengths. That's the point. We've gone over this. Violence is never right. I agree with you. But it's not violence. It's the mere threat of violence. Against whom? Oh. <laughs> Against Hector Fellow's worst nature. To convince him to make good on his promise to help finance the library. Who is he and where do I find him? He's a newspaper man. And he's... He's a... leaving town on a coach, heading to his country estate, because he doesn't like your heavy-handed approach. Well, <laughs> he certainly won't like my heavy-handed approach. Thank you, Mr. Arthur. You'll spot him on the road through the bayou. He has a red coach. So we are clear, I do not approve of this behavior. I'm getting in. Okay, drive. What the hell do you want? Mr. Fellows, ain't it? Charity, sir. And an appeal to your better nature. This is most impudent. Oh, no, it's not most impudent. Trust me, buddy. I can get a whole lot more impudent, but this is a good cause for us wealthy man such as yourself. The chance to add some dignity to all that wealth. Dignity? By helping to finance a library in town. Think of the prestige. Sir. Oh, get out of my carriage. But the mayor. The mayor? The mayor is a crook. <laughs> Me too. And I'm a real crook. I will not be bullied by you, sir. Get out of here. Oh, I'm sorry, was that? Yes, I'd like to finance the library for the common good. Ah! I didn't hear you. Ah! What was that? Ah! Please! All right! All right! Uh, there. You see? That wasn't difficult. You know, they say it's better to give than to receive. And certainly in the case of a beating, I know that's true. Now, the mayor awaits your check, sir. Been a pleasure. There's a good man in there. Let him live a little more. Driver, hold up. As you work, drive on. No. 
recognize you. You're one of the fellas from the riverboat, ain't you? Kill all those people, and for what? A few dollars? Life that cheap to you, is it? Sorry, mister. I think you got me mixed up with someone. No, no. I never forget a face. Never. Enjoy spending your blood money. Whatever you heard, it wasn't me. Honest. I tell you what. Those people got what was coming to them. Now get before I decide you got something coming too. You devil. Why is this happening? Good morning, you hear? All right, careful! Good morning. Morning, friend. That was absolutely delicious, my dear. Thank you. Well, I think a toast is in order, don't you? Here, let's fill that water glass, Tarkin. It's unlucky to cheers on an empty glass. Okay. To the Trelawneys. It's good to be home. The Trelawneys! Are you staying now, Daddy? I wish I could, my boy. I really do. But business calls. Oh, I almost forgot. I don't suppose anybody here would be interested in, say, a uh, present? Me! Me! Okay. This is for you. Wow! Thanks! And this one's for you, Cornelius. I got that in a town called Blackwater. And last but not least, for you, my dear. Aw, thank you. Now run along and play, boys. Let your mother and I read the newspapers. Trelawney, is that you in there? Um, <clears throat> Arthur? What on earth are you doing here? Uh, I can't speak now. Sorry. Can we catch up in the office on Monday? Let's adjourn to the parlor, my dear. Not a moment's peace. Hello, come on in.
Well, you're welcome to try out your wardrobe in the changing room. Hey, mind where you're going! The facts are simple. Life is war, and the war is between races. If you want to die, then go ahead. But I want my race, the master race, to live forever. And I'm prepared to prove my mastery by force, if necessary. It's kill or be killed out there in nature, always has been. Trees kill each other, Flowers kill each other. Even sheep kill each other. So let's stop pretending. It's time we was more like sheep. It's time to kill! Happy Hello. to assist you in a moment. Can I be of service? Traveling mercies to you.
to me. Stop. Madam. Gather round. Gather round. I make no bones for my testament. For my testament is science, and science is God, sir. So help me, God, so strike me down. We are killing ourselves. Killing ourselves fast and hard and nasty. Laugh you may, sir. But the world is in balance, and the balance is off. I know it sounds crazy, but look around you. Look around and learn. And we... Hey there. Did you read the book? Well, I opened it, but I didn't understand much. That's more than most. Much more than most. It was kind of interesting. Did you like the bit about the baboons causing the downfall of ancient Rome? Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite brilliant, I think. Yes, it's one of my more outlandish theories, but it's quite, quite true. I'm thinking of another volume. Well, there's another volume of a unifying theory of scientific knowledge? Yes, I, I know it needs a new title, but I've got a great bit about how this new craze for dental hygiene Whoa. will make our pets homosexual. Huh. Well, good luck with that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Scoff not, laugh not, deride not. I speak the truth. We are killing this land, killing it with greed, killing it with science. I am a scientist. The land will boil. The sea will dry up. The world will heat. Crops shall wither. The hills shall burn. The rivers shall turn to fire. And this will not be some eternal damnation from above. This is the very manifestation of our greed. This is a land founded on greed. Not on science, not on truth, but on greed. We must think, not merely desire. Gods, not dreams, but knowledge. Knowledge is the only hope, and knowledge starts with the eyes. You don't need too many eyes to see that we are doomed unless we change our ways. We are throttling the very life from this place. The sea runs black. Grinder, the air Keep a low profile, the and you'll get along the sky just fine. Is gray. Let's go, girl. for the blind Penny for the blind Penny for the blind Penny for the blind Penny for the blind Help a blind man. Here you go. Be warned, sir. Do not slumber too deeply, for the man with no nose is coming for you. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Don't waste any 
Hey, then, old blind man. Go out there and become who you are. Out of the damn way! That's easy. Think you can keep me locked up? Will you shut that filthy mouth!
I'm here for Wilson McDaniels. Anyone gets in the way, gets a bullet. Take me to damn cork, then! This ain't America! We ain't free no more! Can't raise no animals, take no wives! All I did was graze my livestock! Married them that needed marrying, and killed any that tried to stop it! I ain't wrong! It's you that's wrong! We was trying to live free! And you came along and laid waste! Take me in, just take me to the jailhouse. You know, you ain't going to court. You ain't going to jail either. I'm taking you to a professor I know. What in the hell are you talking about? You're a lucky man, mister. You get to be part of a great experiment. Shut up! Huh? You ain't gonna die needlessly is what I mean. Nope. Your death's gonna be in, uh... Important step in the advancement of human knowledge. What the hell you say, mister? This professor, Andrew Bell III, I believe he said. He's a little odd, maybe harebrained, but 
I got no reason to doubt the quality of his work. What's this gay professor got to do with anything? Well, he wants to try this new electricity chair on you to kill you humanely. <clears throat> no! Yeah. Well, he's gonna strap you into this contraption and run a large electric current through your system. Got something to do with moonshine. I don't quite know what. I guess that's why he's the professor and I'm the bounty catcher. <laughs> well, as I said, I can pass on his assurances that this is a most humane way to go. It'll be just like, well, like switching off a light. <laughs> they wouldn't let you do this to me. They wouldn't. Oh, they would. And we got a permit and everything. You was in animal husbandry, am I right? Well, you ever seen lightning strike livestock, Mr. McDaniels? I ain't ever seen the actual impact, but I came across the pasture sometime after. The storm had just cleared, and there was smoke in the air, smell of burning hair. No. There must have been a dozen head of cattle lying there, piled up, mangled. Strange scars across their backs, legs, and necks. It's half like they was burned, and half like the skin was ripped off. No. Eyes bleeding. Some of them popped out. No! If I hadn't seen the storm, well, I would have thought some devil caused that mischief. But no, sir. It was lightning. The electricity does something all right. I seen trees explode in front of me. I seen desert sand baked into glass. That's what I seen lightning do. But, you know, hey. This electricity professor's got a plan for you. Ah, that must be an entirely different kind. about that, McDaniels. You all right? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, me too. Well, you'll be happy to know we ain't got far to go. Hold on tight now. <laughs> Professor will be real pleased to meet you. <gasps> no! Ha, bring him here. over here. I got him. You're wonderful. Just, just wonderful. Now, where's my money? Um... Money? Yeah, for all the running around I've been doing. Oh, well, once they buy my humane electric ending facilitator, there'll be money enough for you, sir. Well, let's hope. All right, let's get our, our, um, 
Our poor unfortunate, ready for the demonstration. Oh, do come and watch. It'll be amazing. Come along. Oh, there you are. I uh, got you those orchids. I don't need them anymore. Why? What happened? It's the Contessa. She's, uh... She's married another. I'm, s I'm so sad. Oh, well, I'm sorry. She left me for a oh. postman. <laughs> she married a postman. <laughs> I mean, it's, she's, she's a countess and a postman. I mean, the shame of it. I, I mean, if it was a prince, I could have coped with it. But a, a postman? Life is extremely challenging at times. Tacitus, I want you to kill me. Huh? I, I have a gun. <clears throat> Quite a gun. These are Tahitian pearls. Well, Tahiti? Have you been? Nearly, but I guess we never made it. It's not for people like us, Tacitus. Please, just kill me. What? No. Then give me the gun. <clears throat> Calm down. <laughs> I think it best for both of us if I keep the gun. I'm so ashamed, Tacitus. <sighs> Don't worry about it. Jeez. Now I'll have to go to Baltimore to see my awful sister. Not to lay God. To smell the gardenias. I'm not <laughs> sure what to tell you. Here's your payment for the orchids. Thank you. I'm too old for love, Tacitus. Too old to live without it. Oh. Wise words. But art will see me through, Tacitus. Surely it shall. Oh, ah, here. I promised you I'd make something. I have your hat. <sighs> Pretend to like it. I couldn't have another rejection. Not now. It's wonderful. You take care, Algernon. Goodbye, Tacitus. Think of me fondly. Give me a minute, please. You got postage? It's all set to go. Ah, uh, hello. What do you need? Hope your journey is a good one.
Move already. Okay, my girl. Quit fighting some bears. Oh, you think you're real tough too, huh? Break it up now. Break it up. Wasting oh, my shit. Almost shot me, but I done seen it all by now.
Hey there, partner. This is total madness. I know it is, but I can't stop. No, I, I can't. I'm feeling very abandoned, you know, very ignored. See, I, I asked for, for, for a message, and he gave me the whole world, but no signal I can understand. All these, all these people, and, and none of them quite right. That's very frustrating. The, the whole world. Wasn't that enough? No. It wasn't enough. It wasn't enough at all. <laughs> That's a problem. I'm so... I'm so greedy. I'm, I'm awful. Let's go, bro. Train is delayed, but only for a moment. Welcome. How do you do? Farewell on your travels. Not complain. Excellent. 
sizing that one up then, are you? It's a decent bounty. Try looking for that one out by Catfish Jackson's. And when you get him and his cronies, tell him that we're just railway workers here. Not instruments of tyranny or however they phrase it. The imbeciles. This bounty, Raider, with all the M's and L's in his name, you must know something about him. Camille de Millamont. He's French, but he's no gentleman. Whole pack of raiders are savages, if you ask me. Good riddance to him. If I'm going to go after this bounty, the raider, I'll need more information. The bounty's for de Millamont, you see. But, look, you won't find just him. I'll have a whole band of boys with him, so be wary. Hey. I'm always wary. Well, I got a bounty to chase. And it's dead or alive, in case you aren't much of a reader. I am. Trawler. Mostly. of you all. That will send a clear message. Let's hitch the horses and relax a little. Come on, gather round the fire. I have something to say. George, Alvin, you proved yourself our brothers today. They sure did. And make no mistake, these are not heinous acts. A vote is an honor, not a right, and in the hands of the inferior and the illiterate, a very dangerous weapon. How is a man of the field supposed to make a decision on something of which he understands nothing? Know that when we act for the good of us, we also act for the good of him. Yeah, we are the true heroes. They seek to divide us, but together we are strong. We are bound by our lineage, regardless of language or nationality. I fight for you, with you, because I am you. That's right. Without hierarchy, there is anarchy. And if it's anarchy they want, we will surely oblige them. While we breathe, we fight. You are all patriots. Now let's take a moment of silence for those who fell. Someone's coming! Ain't tight enough. Get your filthy rope off me, you peasant! Release me right now!
You're making a big mistake. I have committed no crime. I fight for your country. Okay, my girl. You seek to deny my freedom when I fight for yours? I seek to get paid, that's all. What are they offering? A hundred dollars? Two hundred? I wish you was worth a hundred. You're a cheap son of a bitch. I almost didn't bother. What? There must be some mistake. My name is Camille de Milmont. Yeah, well, blame your parents for that, not me. I am no criminal. I fight for you, for all of us, for our future. You don't fight for me. <laughs> In the future? Well, that won't be a concern of yours for much longer. Turning on each other. This is what they want. Don't you see that? Come on, don't be an errand boy for the gutless state. Worst mistake you can make is thinking you're better than the next man. That's when you get sloppy and end up on the back of a horse heading straight for the gallows. How do you live with yourself? You are a traitor to your heritage. Well, clearly you never met my pa. I am a realist, that's all. People need hierarchy. They crave it. It is the foundation of civilization. Well, I guess I just ain't that civilized then. Please, take my advice. Better to face the truth now, uncomfortable as it is, than when it's already too late. Here's some advice for you. Skip the last meal. Cowards like you always spoil their britches when the noose drops. You can go to hell. Oh, I intend to. Not before you, my friend. <laughs> now, shut your goddamn mouth. We got you, Captain. Ain't no the mowing raider gonna fuck your jail.
Here we are. You're making a big mistake. We're on the same side. No, we ain't. Just grin and bear. I got the Millamont, and he ain't happy about it. Strike me down. Sheriff. Put him in the cell, then. You are a traitor, Sheriff Tomas. Sending this Yankee against your own. Quiet down. That's always been all you's problem. Too damn noisy for folks good. That's what we'll pay for. I guess that's what I'll have to accept then. You have not seen the last of us. Anyway. Let me go. I'm fighting for you out there. Anyways. I worked long and hard to make this town on its path. And you weren't gonna pull us off of it. Damn all you scalawags! I had a fondness for you before we were acquainted. Now, not so much. Collaborator! Traitor to the South! You are surely starting to grate on me. Okay then, girl. I thought I recognized you. Hello again. Don't surprise me in the least. Okay, safe travels. Ah, you're back. What can I do for you? How you doing, friend? Hope your journey's a good one.
Better luck next time. Welcome back, sir. Nothing quite like wearing your best day's work. That's the whole set, huh? Nice. We're open. That steals of all the power. Thanks. Xin chào, chào sẵn. 